this is a DC 300 dash cam for your car. So if you want to see what's forward and what's inside your car, this may be right for you. Let's open it up, show you what you get inside the box. Check out online as well as the DC 300 owner's manual has a lot of information for you. A cleaning cloth, a micro cloth to clean the lenses of the unit. A windshield mount with a protective film that's adjustable. A 12 volt USB-C power cable with a USB 1.5 amp rated plug. A USB-C cable to transfer files off the unit. And a Spade DC 300 unit that will go on your windshield one particular way. Very simple to place on the mount correctly facing the right way. It locks in and adjusts. And the angle of the camera can be adjusted almost 360 degrees. On the bottom of the unit will be a number of buttons that will execute all the modes and features and functions and settings. And the screen will light up widescreen and it's not touch sensitive. On the size of reset, you can simply press to reset your camera. And you're given a SDXC card located on the side. Let's remove the windshield mount, plug in the unit, it'll automatically come on. There I am, as you can see, it automatically is recording. And you have a number of buttons. Do not forget to peel off the film of the unit. You're gonna stop your recording by hitting one of the buttons. This is the mode button. It gets into the configuration of the unit, as you can see right here. These are the controls and features of the unit down over here, shown in a light color. Do apologize for the camera. As we scroll down, you can see the blue highlight moving. All the different features and functions. You have loop recording, time lapse, exposure, motion detection, recording, G sensor, parking monitor. To get into the other settings. We are now in screensaver, auto power or frequency, beeps, language, date and time, IR filter light, format, default settings, and the version. We have here is a full screen forward. We have here is a back screen. We have here is a split screen. If we shut our car off, the unit's gonna say goodbye. When we hook power up to the unit, it's automatically going to turn on and start recording. You have the option to put this on a auto shut off, to off, a minute, a few minutes, and so forth. And when power is off, it says goodbye. What we're going to go do now is hook this up into the car. Very simple to do. I'm going to plug my unit in first. I'm going to put my windshield mount on second. I'm going to place this out of my way by getting it off of the rubber right over here. Now I'm going to twist the locking mechanism. And then I'm going to place my cord around my mirror. I then plug in my outlet. You see the unit working in action, how it shows the front screen, split screen, and back screen. If you're looking to take a camera and capture somebody tapping your bumper, or not sure if you are parked correctly, and you get a ticket at a meter, this product may help you document what you're doing. I hope this product is something that you're looking for to capture the moment in your car as a dash cam. Spade DC 300 dash cam. Hope this product may be right for you.